Hi, we're making an update video for this article. We are installing Budgie on Arc Linux D and phase one is installing VirtualBox. Phase two, we've just done as uh, installation of all the scripts. And now we are going to check out these personal scripts. So phase three is up. So VirtualBox is ready. Everything is installed. It is uh, not tweaked and tuned. The only thing that kicks in is for a uh, variety and gives us a beautiful wallpaper. But for the rest, I've left, uh, I leave everything as is. We go to the files and to Arco Budgie. And first things, maybe we can team a little bit already. We don't like, we're not used to this look. And that's because there is a preference here. Sort folders before files. That's the way we like it to be. Well, we're used to have it like this. And um, then there is this personal folder. So we ran all these numbers and then we go down here and check out what elements we can have here as well. Right mouse click, open in terminal. Let's move that one over here. So LS, we can run all of these things. You check out if you want to run them, you check out if you have to change them. Uh, they are scripts for you to change, as simple as that. And it helps us, um, well, bookmarks, make bookmarks automatically and stuff like that. So when you do a reinstallation and you tend to have 10 different kind of bookmarks there, that's the script to edit, to change. So what's special about Arc Linux? Well, I guess it's ETC scale. I haven't seen anything like it on other um, distros, we have all our configuration and our tweaking is done in here. And when we update any Arch Linux package, not any, some of the Arch Linux packages will put their data in here, will put their configuration in here. So we need to copy paste this over. Let's include it in the video. So updating Arch Linux is Control C and Control V. And how does it look on Budgie? So it, he asks, do you want to merge, apply this action, merge, and then replace, apply this action, replace. So everything is now copied over, copy pasted over, and uh, we're up to date. If we type update, because I see something red up here, and there is an update coming in. And if we type this one, this is for AUR packages and everything is up to date. So back to our personal folder here. We've done this one, that one. This is for the Firefox. Now let's make the mistake so we see in this video what the mistake looks like. CP cannot create directory, home, etc, etc because we never actually started Firefox. So that's why I always say start Firefox first. Maybe we can include this in this video too, Eric. So, bin, cache, etc. There is no Mozilla, you see? Between local and NCM PCP. Let's start Firefox. And now we have a Mozilla folder. And it's when we have a Mozilla folder that we can actually go and write something into the default folder, which is this one. And that's what it's going to do. So this one, the star, means anything really, but it always will end with dot .default. And that's what I'm doing. A little fix, a CSS fix, to make sure that we have readable input boxes in dark themes in Firefox. What else? LS. 400 is the ZSH software themes, and 700 is to remove the GNOME backgrounds. Maybe you like the GNOME backgrounds, but I'm really, I, I know them, I mean, uh, rather not have them. So user share the backgrounds is in, where is it? Backgrounds, GNOME, these guys, if you like them, if you want to keep them, fine. Else you just say run the script, which is 700, which is actually nothing simpler as pseudo pacman minus r so basically if things are not to your liking you can do just the same 
remove this one, remove that, remove this one. It's a big list of all the things you want to remove and that's done and everything will be, well, you just run your script and everything is out of there. So home, Arco Budgie, personal. And I never include a video about ZSH, um, but maybe we could include it this time. So what is ZSH? It's an alternative to bash. So when you open your terminal, you uh, have normally a ZSH. And what you need to do is this line is very obvious that you need to do something here. And what is it? You have to say sudo change my shell to Eric or for Eric. And the shell is going to be here and then go for it. Shell is changed. So control T is not working, but um, we are, we are momentarily in Neo fetch that I can do. Uh, terminal yeah, shell bash. So bash 4.4.23. It will only kick in, it will only kick in if, 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 if we look out. That's enough. Restart is possible as well. And this is our look. And a new wallpaper. Don't show the message. Get away. Okay, like this then. So, new wallpaper. If you don't like it, next one. And, um, well, why not this one? So, the terminal. So control T, no keyboard shortcuts, you'll all have to make them if you want them. But Termite is there, it's installed. And at this point in time, we have this ZSH, and this thing is green, all right? So when I launch Termite again, it's going to be another look as a B or something, and Mortals come back, nice name. Once you start doing things like ls and, and, and I don't know the message and all those kind of things, you'll see that um, things will change and the look will change. So it's um, a lot of themes are in there. I set it to a random theme, which I like. And at some point in time, you say, "Hey, I like this one," and then you can fix it to the, that one theme, and it will stay that theme. But at this point in time, I set it to well the way I like it. In essence, it's going to be a random each time right so that's zsh for you and let me also include finalizing the video here it's smaller it's better so we've uh, explained all these all these have been done then we have done this one this is all normally always installed because it's distro specific and Take a look at some of the packages in here. Not everything is installed. Uh, VMware station, workstation here, wire is here, WPS office. So a lot of things are in here and are easy to install. So if you are installing it and you say, hey, it doesn't work, go check these scripts out. Sometimes there is a fix in there. And for the people who are at phase five, we say, I'm going to try and install Arch Linux. Well, then you need a key and um, you need these two. All right, that concludes phase three. That's it for me, folks. Cheers.